Is it just me or does it feel like gaming has been slapped on pretty much everything at this point? I mean, we're talking from stuff that makes sense like mice and video cards all the way to glasses or chairs. But does using gaming components actually make your PC better for gaming? Well, we built these two PCs and tested them head to head to find out. And we're gonna tell you after these messages from TunnelBear. TunnelBear thinks the internet is better when everyone can openly access the same content. Try TunnelBear for free at tunnelbear.com slash LTT. So our methodology was pretty simple. We started with a well-balanced machine, like a Core i5-8400, 16 gigs of RAM, GTX 1070, M.2 SSD, etc. Then we replicated the exact same config as closely as possible, except that to the best of our ability, we replaced every single component with a gaming version of the same thing. So if it didn't have something about powering up your squad or just gaming right in the product name, it was out. It actually ended up being a lot easier than we thought. So we have not only easy ones like gaming graphics card and gaming motherboard, but also a gaming SSD, a gaming power supply, a gaming AIO cooler. Even our case fans are all gaminged out. I mean, look at this, look at this packaging. According to these blurbs from the manufacturers, their hardware will deliver upon us a new era of gaming. It will bring a real body blow to your opponents. Attack its weak point for massive damage. And even enable one to master the decisive moments and succeed in all attacks. Wow, that sounds great. Let's fire up some synthetic tests to, oh, <gasps> no. Well, this can't be right. Why, why, all these numbers are within 3% of one another. Whatever in the world could be happening? I was promised a new era of body blows and decisive moment mastery success. Hmm, maybe to have the amazing gaming experience advertised on the box, I have to play real games. No, no, again. This is consistent with what we got earlier on. Just what in the hell is going on here? Okay, in all seriousness though, let's talk about what happened here. Many of you probably saw this coming, but it turns out that Slapping a gaming moniker on a product and adding some RGB and fancy styling does not make it magically perform noticeably better. The only things that affect the performance of a PC are its actual specs, the clock speeds of the given products inside it, and potentially cooling. For example, when we clocked our reference non-gaming GTX 1070 graphics card to match the speeds of the gaming version, the results equalized. So why is everyone putting gaming in their product names? Well, our first guess was that they wanted to charge suckers more for it. But while your mileage may vary depending on the particular models you choose and how much you're willing to drop on additional enhancement elements like RGB lighting and custom power supply cables, our gaming machine ended up costing about the same as our vanilla one and actually included some tangible benefits. First up, our GPU came with a higher boost clock out of the box, which it was easily able to maintain thanks to its enhanced cooling. Gaming class cards also tend to come with extras like multiple temperature sensors or OC switches that make kicking them into a higher gear a one-click affair. Second, yeah, we have to bring it up, style. Our gaming machine's looks immediately tell us what she was built for. Some manufacturers like Asus even enable you to sync your system and graphics card lighting via their software. With that said, 
More and more these days, even vanilla parts like the ASUS Prime Z370A in our non-gaming machine come with RGB capabilities. So some people like a nondescript box tucked under their desk, churning out damn frames, while others prefer the other. This one is clearly subjective, but we had to mention it. Bringing us to number three, gaming parts often come bundled with game codes or paraphernalia like do not enter I'm gaming door hangers and gaming related stickers. And that's it. That's about all we came up with. Our two systems cost about the same, perform about the same, and their quality is about the same. So then why dump so much money into the development and marketing of these products if they perform the same? Like, Why does ROG even exist? Well, because even though the base level of these gaming branded products do actually cost about the same, what these brands do are a couple of things. Number one is they allow companies to create halo models that do sell for a lot more for the people out there who value bragging rights above performance per dollar. And then number two is that even for that regular stuff that doesn't make more money, as marketing strategies go, it seems to be working really well. When we did our last audit of orders through our Amazon affiliate code, we actually found that even for a category like video cards, which never used to have gaming in the name since I think the manufacturers figured it was implied, gaming models were outselling their non-gaming counterparts significantly. So there you have it, gaming doesn't make it faster, but it also doesn't necessarily make it slower. So I think the real takeaway here is, um, come to think of it, what did we learn today? That this video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. If you haven't already, now's the time to try out Dollar Shave Club. It is more than just razors. Dollar Shave Club makes it easy for you to upgrade your shave and your bathroom. And you don't even have to step foot in a store to get high quality shaving and grooming products. They deliver them right to your door. For a limited time, Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their shit shower shave starter set to new members for five bucks. It includes their executive razor and three trial size versions of their most popular products to help you stay fresh and clean. So you get the shave butter, the body wash, the one wipe Charlie's butt wipes, and the executive razor, which includes the premium weighty handle and a full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are just a few bucks a month. So check it out at dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus. We're gonna have that linked below. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it's awesome, get subscribed, hit the like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. We'll have both versions down there for the uh, more gaming aesthetic inclined and the less so. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.